to Crazy Town Media's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Start the timer. 10 minutes. Boom. On the clock. Countdown. Beginning. <laughs> uh, so, like, uh, Elon Musk. Okay, I know him. Is, yeah, he's supposed to be starting, or at least, you know, they're, they're hinting at the idea of starting uh, to test Neuralink. Neuralink. Okay, on, on, I, we did a, a, a story about Neuralink on the podcast a long yeah. time ago. They're going to start doing human test subjects. Oh, they're going to like really bring people in to like have yeah. the Neuralink hooked up. Am I bad because I like, yo, put that put that ish directly in my veins? Like, oh, you're I'll, ready to sign up? I'm ready to sign up. Okay, what if like it lobotomizes you though? I mean, I'm assuming that if it were to have like some life altering effects, I'll receive compensation. Probably not. You sign waivers. That's the reason that they have you yeah, do those but, tests. you know, like, you don't want, like, optics. Like, yeah, I signed waivers, but I could be like, yo, look, Elon Musk f my whole head up. Now I can't right. take a piss without spinning around three times. Well, I wonder, I bet you there's some sort of nomenclature in the contract that says if some, if you become disabled due to this, you will get X amount of compensation, but yeah. you cannot sue or go for anything above yes. X amount of money. That's but, probably what it is, I would yeah. guess. And I'm, and there probably is like an NDA or something attached to yeah. it. But but for you to have to sign an NDA and I won't sue you act and all of that stuff, they got to offer you something. Right. So it's either, you, they can't take all the power out of your hands. I assume they could, but they're asking for test subjects. Well, well, here's the thing. It's all about what people are willing to pay. So that's with everything. Like, so, you know, Avatar clothes on Xbox 360, people charge, and everyone's like, this is so dumb. But they still do it to this day because people yeah. spent the money. Yeah. So as long as someone is willing to sign on the dotted line with no repercussions, well, no one else will make any money. Here's the real question, John. So are you going to sign up with me? No. Why not? I don't want that. Why? I have a phone, and I'm already smart. Dude. It'll be fun. <laughs> I'll watch you, and you can talk. It'll be great. People will watch our podcast because you'll have Neuralink, and they can. Jonas, they're saying is that with Neuralink, you could eventually talk to a person without using your mouth. You can just <laughs> use your thoughts and be like, what's up? Yeah. What are you doing? Good for you, dude. I'm happy that you're going to have that power. <laughs> you can surf the internet on in your head. So you basically want to become catatonic. And what just you, what do you mean and, but, catatonic? No, you just want to like lay in one spot and communicate and surf the internet. And you, <laughs> what's like, the difference? Oh, I'm sorry, you freaking purist mouth movers over here. <laughs> right. Everybody wants to move their mouth to talk and you're pissed off because I can do it telepathically. Uh, purist. Yeah, I am. You sound like a boomer. I <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, boomer! You know when I have a computer hooked to your brain, you loser. So, uh, like, why now? What, what what is it about? It are you afraid that you could die or something? Is uh, that what it is? No, and I heard about it. I was just like, yeah, that seems all right. I guess I don't know, dude. It just didn't. It wasn't my cup of tea. No, what, what's the what's the biggest turn off? Because like, I I feel that that majority of people have a turn off for it, but I uh, I don't internally have it. Like, I'm just like, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real, dude. I, there's not really a turn off. It just I'm just like I'm good. Like I I think it would be cool, like having a computer hooked to your brain and so all you, so you're saying that if it could be deemed safe, like if it was the same as like getting LASIK eye surgery, you would con you would consider it. Yeah, and it's safety really isn't the issue either. Like oh, okay, yeah, I, yeah. like it isn't the fact that like if I got it, I could get messed up. I just like I was just I guess I would have I guess I'm agnostic about it because like. If, if it works as they say it's going to work and mm. it's that awesome, I probably would want it. But, like, I guess I'm like, let's see if it works that way first. I don't want this thing if it's just going to be clogging up my brain, like, <laughs> with, with computer jib-jab. I and, do. I mean, hey, dude, I I'll, I'll help you find the link, to be honest. <laughs> I'll do the re I, I know I'll, I'll do the legwork for you. You can sign up. It'll wow. benefit both of us because you'll have Neuralink and we'll have a podcast with someone with Neuralink. People will watch. They'll have a reason. And do when the AI overlords take over. Exactly. I'm good because I'm, I'm a cyborg. Exactly. And then right? you can help transition me into the, in the yeah, I'd be like, hey, he's all right, dude. He's not a cyborg, but you know, he's, he's cool. I don't know. I just think of the possibilities and I know like a lot of them are like fantastic, like sci-fi ideas, but I'm thinking like you could download my personality and memories to the upload them to the cloud and then bring me back. Bring back another Bring TNT. back a, a pure cyborg TNT when you actually pair. That would be fine by me. I would, you know what, Joe? I would give up every ounce of flesh I have for cyborg, cybernetic parts. Okay. All right. And I'm not like, uh, I can't think of the, 
I can't think of the rim world terminology for it, but there is rim world terminology. Oh yeah, yeah, for I'm, it. I'm familiar with that game. But uh, I can't even think of that. But I'm not one of those where I'm just like, oh, I need everything to be fake. But I wouldn't mind. I and here, I think I figured out what it is. What's that? I don't need it. I don't need it either. But but I would like if I lost an arm and they're like, hey, we'll give you a fake cyborg arm. I'd be like, in. But I wouldn't take my real arm. <laughs> no! Off to put a cyborg arm on. But look at your meat flesh arm. It's it's obsolete, <laughs> oh, Jonas. Yeah, dude, it's obsolete. It is. It, I mean, borderline obsolete. Yeah, for sure. Damn. Yeah, I get you. No, but I heard also that Elon Musk said that like they're gonna eventually move away from Tesla cars, and Tesla will become like a yeah. AI cyborg kind of company. Oh, yeah. I mean, I could see that. He makes his millions off a car that everyone's like. Whatever, and then he's like, Whoa, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. now I have all the AI. I'm going to take over the world. He already is the richest man, so he will. He almost can take over the world. I mean, yeah. He's, yeah, getting, so. there. he's getting there. I don't so know, you, man. You wouldn't go into space. You, I wouldn't? Yeah. You already told me you wouldn't yeah, go into dude, space. In the, I just. You told me that you don't want to become a, a cyborg. It, I guess it depends how much it costs for space. Like, if, if it was if like $25,000, I'd be like, no, there's many, many things I could spend on. To, okay, so if space was free. If yeah, I was like, hey, yo, we're going to space tomorrow. I already got the tickets. Oh, then I'd probably do that. Yeah. Well, okay. Okay. I thought you were like. No, I'm not anti-space. Like an aver like, aversion okay. to it. All right. I am not a space guy. Like, I think space is cool. But, like, as far as, like, sci-fi stuff and going into space and all that stuff super, people are super into, like, I'm indifferent. But would it be cool to go into orbit and see the world from, like, outside of Earth and just, like, see the vast okay. craziness of, like, oh, my God. Like, that. Okay. I mean, but you realize there's some inherent risk. Oh, yeah. You could okay. die. I mean, okay. they've had enough now, enough flights now with it. Like, I feel it would be somewhat safe. But there is risk. I mean, going into anti-gravity can mess you up. I mean, leaving – you can, anything can happen. You could die. Exactly. I mean, but I want to go bungee – or not bungee. I want to go skydiving. So, it's it's nuts. it's it's probably – I mean, <laughs> I, I would say maybe probably more dangerous than skydiving. But, like – Yeah, I mean – But it's controlled, I guess, because you're in a – You could survive machine. a skydiving accident potentially. I mean – you ain't surviving re-entry back. Right. Or, or, yeah. Or the shuttle explodes as you're like going into space. Yeah. yeah. I guess I was just trying to figure out if your aversion was through like self-preservation mm -hmm. or just like, I guess, just general disinterest at this point. Yeah. It really is. Like, and that's what Neuralink is too, I think, man. Like, obviously at first, if I, it would be expensive and I'd be like, nah, I'm good. But like, I don't know, dude. All I'm right. a very. So Neuralink, we're talking about brain. We're talking about attaching a computer to your brain. What if they could take like your arms and give you like freaking cyberpunk gorilla arms where you're just like super strong i just talked about this if i have a regular arm that works no i'm good but if i lose but this we're talking accident, about it performs better like they're like look man you never have to work I don't out have, you I, never have to work out again we're just gonna give you no, wait wait hold on if i never had to work again if i got cyber arms i'd be down <laughs> if i never had to work out again like, if they're like, we'll take your arms, we'll give you cyborg arms, and you never have to work again. I would say, I'm in. I, I think mean. almost anything, if it was like you never had to work again, I would be in. Oh, so you would give up your body parts. You'd oh, be, yeah, if dude. If I, like, work. if they were like, hey, we'll take, your, we'll take your leg from the knee down on both legs, but you never have to work again. Hmm. And, but worst, worst case, I'm in a wheelchair. Best oh. case, I got cyber legs. No, you give them away for free. I'm not trading body parts for, like... Well, no, you don't have to work money. anymore. So obviously, you're financially stable. They're giving you enough money that you're financially stable. Mm. That you, that you know what I mean. Like you don't. Well, have that, to. you know, honestly, Jonas, in that case, we could just sell your body parts on the black market. But that wouldn't make me. I wouldn't have a replacement. Yeah, but you wouldn't have to work. Yeah, but that's not the. <laughs> yeah, just give you a bunch of. That money, wasn't the know? question. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you'd sell your body parts for work. I mean, I no, would. No, we've do... determined that you're a prostitute. Now we're just trying to figure out what the price is. <laughs> we are. I'm a prostitute for not having to work. <laughs> but it's prost. I mean, prostitution. You know, they say do something that you'll love every day of your life. If you could just like be a prostitute. Yeah, but then there's a the term of like a, on a long enough timeline, doing the thing you love just becomes work. Exactly. <laughs> I've always wondered that. Like, do porn stars like not enjoy having sex with their real partner? Like, they're just like, oh, this is great. That's something I, I like. I, I refer to it as this. I don't know if it already has a term associated with it, but I call it the porn star conundrum. Where it's like you, you do something that you love for a time and then eventually it just becomes like. You, you don't even love the thing that you're uh, doing that's anymore. True. And w good thing we got to finish our thought because that's all the time we have for today's episode. Uh, make Timer sure to went like off. subscribe. Jonas. TNT. Go to crazytown.com. We out. <laughs>